There we go. All these, all these Zoom updates since the yeah. last time I've done one of these. <laughs> Come on, tech god. Get back into the swing. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, well, we'll get started. Um, and like Barb said, she'll let in anybody that comes in late. Um, today, I wanted to go over designs in command, um, social media designs, print designs. I will briefly go over what email designs looks like for those of you that want to set up their smart plans, but we'll keep that for another day because that's a, that's a pretty long class. So I don't want to get too deep into that today. So we'll mainly go over social media and print design and how to create them, how to download them, how to share them, all that good stuff. Any questions before I get started? All right, I'm gonna share my screen. So everybody on this call should know what this page is. This is your homepage for command. On your homepage, you have a widget, which should be halfway down the page on the right-hand side that says design updates. So each week or each couple of weeks, whenever they make updates in the designs applet, they will put the new ones that they create over here where you can preview them um, and actually get into the designs applet over here. But for most of us, what we wanna do is we wanna come over to the left-hand side of the page and come down to the paintbrush with the border, we're gonna click on that. And that's designs. When you click on that applet, it's going to bring up your design template. So anything that you've done within designs in the past will show up here. So if you scroll all the way down, I've done 185 designs. Many of them are examples. I haven't created 185, but when I do classes, I will create templates and show everyone what they look like. So if you haven't done any in the past, your screen will be blank. You won't have any design templates. Up here at the top, you'll see email, landing page, social, print, agent site, and video. These are the different types of designs that you can make within the system and share out. Like I said, today, we're gonna to go over social and we're gonna go over print. And I'll touch on email real quick. All right, so the first thing we wanna do when we get into our design templates, we're gonna click on this green plus symbol in the bottom right hand corner. This stands for create a new design. So I'm gonna click on this plus symbol. It brings up this window and gives us all of the different options for what type of design we wanna make. I'm gonna start with social because I do a lot of social media designs within the system. So I clicked on social and it bordered it in green. So we're gonna select social, we're gonna click on next and it'll bring us into our workspace with all of the different templates that we can choose from. And as you can see up top, we're on templates. So these are all the KW templates that are provided to us. If I click on my designs, pretty much takes me back to any designs that I've done in the past. And it also gives me the option of starting from a blank canvas where I can make my own design. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. My assets, I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's all the different color palettes, logos. This is where you can upload your logos, um, images, elements, videos, all that stuff. So we'll get back to that in a couple of minutes once I start creating a design. I would say the first time you log into this, if you don't have any logos for the office in here, come right into my assets and go to logos and upload the office logo because you're gonna to wanna to use it for your designs, okay? And if you don't know where to find these, send me an email and I will email you both the white one and the regular one, okay? I'm gonna go back to templates. And as you can see down the left-hand side, here's all of our different templates. So we have templates for the KW app. If I click on it, there's not much going on there. Listings for sale, just listed, price update, neighborhood snaps, open house, under contract, just sold, local experts. So if I click on any of these, I'm gonna get this error message, which wasn't happening. Okay, here we go. This wasn't happening a half hour ago. All right, so 
social wide, social square, social story. So it just changes the layout of each. So a story goes up and down long, square is what, what it says, square, and then a wide one goes side to side. Most of the time I will use the wide or the square. Most recently I've been using the square ones. So you can see that there are a bunch here. I don't know. I think when I click, well, okay. I don't know, there's something going on here, but at least I can see some of them. All right, so that's for listings, for buyers, neighborhood snaps, Keller Mortgage, buyer presentations are in here, lead generation, home value, websites, holiday greetings, client love, event invitations. So there's a lot of different options within all of these drop down menus on the left. If I go to new designs all the way at the bottom left and I go to social square, Here's all the new designs that they just put into the system. So these are actually, I'm seeing these newer ones for the first time today. You have the Lunar New Year, Mardi Gras is coming up, President's Day, Black History Month is going on right now. So a lot of new designs here. For the sake of this class, I'm going to show you how to make a just listed social design. Okay, so I click on just listed, I went to social square, and it gives me all of these different options. Okay, so I am going to choose one that really stands out to me. I'm going to choose this one down here. So if I hover over this template, you'll see in the top right hand corner of the template, it has a use button. So I'm going to click on that use button. And it's going to upload it for me and bring the template into my workspace so I can start working on it. So general temp template right here. First thing I wanna do is I wanna come over to the left-hand side and go to KWLS. This is the Keller Williams listing service. So when you put a new listing into Bright MLS, within 24 to 48 hours, KWLS will pick it up import everything from the MLS so you have the options of um, using the photos that are in the MLS. So for this one, I'm going to pretend that one of my pendings is actually just listed. So I typed in the address, I hit enter, scroll down, it should be somewhere around here. It was here earlier. Where are we? There we are. First one. So there's my listing right there. I'm going to click select. And now it imports all of the photos from the MLS. So I have the option of using them on my template. So I'm going to click on this picture on my template over here, and you'll see that it outlines it. So it selects it and it outlines it. I'm going to come over to my imported photos. I'm not gonna click on any of them. If I were to click on it, it's just going to add this picture over top of what you see right there. And I'll show you the mistake that everyone makes. So if I were to just click on this photo here on the left, you see how it just puts it over the template there? We don't want that. So if you make that mistake, you'll see that it's highlighted right now. We're gonna hit delete and then you'll have a placeholder there. So we're gonna highlight that placeholder and hit delete again and it'll get rid of it. Okay, so if you make that mistake, like everyone does, just follow those directions and you'll be able to get rid of it. So what we want to do is actually highlight this again, come over to the photo that we want to replace it with, and this little circle with the arrows, if I hover over it, it says replace image. I'm going to click that button and it's going to replace that image. Okay, so that's the photo I want to use. Next thing I want to do is you see where it says KW DBA name. That's our DBA logo. So that's our office logo. So I highlight that. And because I have my logos uploaded, I'm going to hover over the one that I want to use and hit replace logo. And it's a little bigger than the one that was there. So I'm just going to resize it by highlighting it. And now I have my logo right there. Designs in the system is a lot of plug and play and working around with what's there. So 
I want to change this just listed right here because I don't what I don't like the way it looks. So I highlight that. If I want to change the wording, because it's highlighted, I'm going to come up right to this typewriter button. So if I click on typewriter, it brings up the typewriter right here. So I can put an exclamation point there, something like that. Save changes. Yeah, I gotta try it again. This um, like I still have it set up like this. Is that a question, Paloma? She, I don't think she knew she was. She wasn't muted. That's all. Okay. So because I still have it highlighted, I have this toolbox up here that I can change the color. I can change the font. I can change the size. I like to make mine bold so it stands out a little bit. And then I can click and drag if I want to move it around a little bit. So let's say that's how I want it to look right there. All of these little pictures you can change if you want to. I'm going to keep them there. But I'm going to come in here and say this is a three bed. I'm going to highlight the two bath and go to the typewriter. And this is a 1.5 bath. So I'm going to change that. And because it added an extra um, number there, it's too big for the box to be on one line. So I'm going, since it's still highlighted, I can see this arrow that's pointing to the right. So I can click and drag and make that box a little bit bigger and center it with the rest of it. So like I said, a lot of, uh, so if I want to change the square footage, highlight that, typewriter, this one is 1,156 square feet, just like every other row home in Westbrook Park. So there's that. I like to, I like to bold a lot of stuff just because I think it stands out a little bit more. All right, so in here I can change the price for the typewriter. This was listed at 210. And make that bold. And then change the address. All right, resize that box there. So it all looks good. Fold it. All right, so in my eyes, that looks that looks pretty good to me. Anybody have any questions so far? Matt, the only right. question that's actually in the um, chat actually isn't about the design, but uh, Morgan put that after she hit um, next after trying to select the social going back to when you were just getting to this this uh, picture she was getting an internal internal server error saying no authorization code um i didn't want to cut you off so i put that in the chat i'm guessing it's just a glitch i'm hitting because i was able to get on this yesterday actually okay so i've seen this before so if you come up to your url bar and you mm -hmm. followed it all the way over to the right is there an eyeball there um, let me go back. There is, hold on. All the way to the right of the URL, there might be an eyeball. Sorry, my computer is actually a little, it's working so slow today too. I don't know what's happening here. Social next, let me try it again. Like it's not, my computer actually is normally never this slow. Um, no, I don't see an eyeball. Do you see anything over here on the right hand side of the URL bar? Um, I have a star and then, um, no, that in the URL bar, that's the only thing, a star. Okay. I'll have to look into that. So hey, Matt, some, go ahead. Matt, I had that same error message, Morgan, three I have two laptops going and three times and the fourth time I got in and lately, Matt, I don't know, it just does it sometimes when I'm in here in design. Yeah. 
Um, I just, Morgan, just do it again. I refreshed it again and now I'm in and I don't know why, but I, so I know what message you're talking about. I almost screenshot it, but I didn't want to, yeah. but, but that's been one of the, that's yesterday one of the, I was able to get in. So I don't know what's happening now. That's been one of the issues for the past like week within the system. So I know that if that is still going on for a lot of people, it's being worked on. But in the past, I've gotten that issue and there has sometimes been an eyeball up in the URL bar. And if you click on it, it says like allow third party uh, authorization. Okay. So if that ever does pop up like that and you have that eyeball in the URL bar, just go, go about it that way. Okay. It actually, it just went through. Okay. So exactly. I know it's been glitchy all week. So I was, I was eager to see what would happen today because usually when I teach some technology, sometimes everything goes down. So, so far, so good on my end. We're in business now. We're all right, good. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I'm satisfied with my template right here. So now I have two different ways that I can share this to my Facebook page. And that's where I do most of my uh, social media marketing. So the first way is up here in the top right hand corner, you see the share button. If I click that, it's going to give me this little drop down box. So I can share it via <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest if I'd like. This is one way, but I never use this way because if you share it this way, when you look at your Facebook page, it's going to show this image link on the post on your Facebook page. And I'm, I'm weird like that. I don't like, I don't like anything. I like everything looking clean. So the way I always share mine is I will click on this download button and save it to my computer and then go into Facebook and uh, create a post like that. So I have a question. <clears throat> Go for it. Do you do you use Pinterest? Do you post things on Pinterest? No. Okay. I don't. I I'm not a big Pinterest person. So. Because I just didn't know like how to get set up. Because I get, I go on Pinterest like as a user, but I don't know how to post to Pinterest. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I've never been on Pinterest in my life. So okay. Susie I, King actually could probably help you with that because I know Susie posts, she yeah. has been passed to Pinterest. Okay, thanks. All right, so like I was saying, um, I clicked this download button. And if you guys saw my Tech Tip Tuesday from earlier this week, when I want to post something to social media, I always choose a PNG file. So a JPEG and a PNG file are both image files. PDF is for printing out um, the images. So either one you wanna choose is okay. I think PNG files are better for social media with um, Facebook and Instagram. So I select get PNG. I'm not gonna choose any of these. You can include also, you can change a bunch of stuff here, publish settings, stuff here, but I just click on get PNG and I'm gonna start my download. And then it'll download this template to my downloads on my computer. And there it is right there. And it gets put into my downloads. So if I wanna go take a look at it, I can click on my downloads and bring up what it's gonna look like. So there's my preview. And then from there, I can go to Facebook and just create a post. So if I go to photo video, <clears throat> select, open, and it'll be displayed right there. And then you can put a little blurb in there of, I usually put just listed, um, end of row in Westbrook Park, three bed, one and a half bath, uh, completely renovated. So something to attract eyes with a little bit of words, most people will be attracted to the pictures at first. 
and then something like usually like contact me for more details. So any questions on that? No, good. I'm not going to post that because it's not just listed. All right, so from there, if I hit done, it'll save it to my design templates. Now it's gonna show up right here. So every time I open up my designs, you'll see the most recent one as the first. Takes a little bit of time. All right, so the next one is a print one for PDFs to print out. So if I click on this green plus symbol again and go to print, hit next. And now because it's a print um, marketing, you'll see all of these different options, door hangers, bifolds, uh, trifolds with letters, postcards, standard postcards, and regular flyers for letters. You have all your options here on the left. So let's say I wanna send out a just sold to the neighborhood. Click on listings, go to just sold. I wanna do a regular flyer eight by 11. And now I can choose my template. So let's bring in one with a couple different pictures here. So let's choose this one. So hover over this design, click use. <clears throat> so down here in the bottom right, you can see I'm zoomed in about 64%. If you have bad eyes like I do, even though I wear glasses, I always click the plus symbol and go in, zoom in a little bit more so I can actually see what I'm working on. All right, so just sold. I go to KWLS again, go get my listing. select it, bring in the photos again. All right, so I have this highlighted over here on the right. So now I can choose my main photo. I don't like that one. So let's go get another one and choose that one as our main photo. And then I can, all these other sub photos, I can, um, Let's go with this. Let's do that. And if it doesn't show up the way you want it to, you can always, uh, let me sh Never mind. I don't like that. Let's uh, choose this one. There we go. Like I said, a lot of plug and play. Let's go with that. All right, so let's pretend I got all this stuff in here, sold for, this didn't sell for 595, I wish it did, but it didn't. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna change all of your information, your name, your photo. So if you wanna put your photo on here, if I click on my photo, and I go to icons, I believe, no, images, images, okay. So there's my image, which automatically got imported from my marketing profile within the system. Um, if it's not in there, then you just have to go to my assets like we did at the beginning and upload your photo, okay? So now I can replace that. Put my photo there. And then you have the uh, office logo and any other information that you want to put in here, okay? So let's pretend I put all the information in here and I want to download it so I can get it printed, all right? So if I click on download, 
I'm going to go to get PDF because a PDF file is a printable file. And if it's a multi page uh, flyer, all pages is going to be selected. Or if you only want to choose one of the pages out of a multi page, you can click on current page or you can do a range. So there's two different options for quality. It defaults to standard web. I always switch it to high resolution print quality because I want it to look the best when I print it out. Okay. I'm going to click on start download. It's going to download it just like my social media one did to my computer. Usually takes a minute or so. Matt, while you're waiting, Celine posted, shouldn't my name and information pull up automatically under the photo? It will not in, in the case of these. So you will have to change it, which is good because if it did, in my eyes, I'm still going to go change the way this looks because I want to make it more apparent to people uh, with my information. All right, so I have my PDF downloaded. I can go preview it here in my downloads and that's what it's going to look like. And then from here, I can get it printed out and either walk the neighborhood and hand them out or mail them out. So there's your PDFs right there. Pretty simple. But first couple times you use it, you are just going to have to play around with it a little bit. We'll plug and play there. Any questions on social media or print? This this might sound dumb, but do you guys um, do you print this stuff like at home? And if or if, if you have a home printer, yeah, go for it. I mean, I usually come to the office and print on regular paper. Say that again. It'll print out like fine on just regular paper. Yeah, yeah. I do all my printing at the office. I mean, it's 25 cents for each color copy. Mm -hmm. But if I sold a house for, in this case, $210,000 to, to spend $20 to canvas the neighborhood and try to get more business out of it just sold, then it's worth it in my eyes. Yeah, we don't have a printer at home, so that definitely sounds worth it. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Matt Holly uh, just posted, would you be able to take us through the new personally branded, I don't know, is that a misspelling zine, zine? It's supposed to be under the lead generation dropdown. Sure. All right, so I'm gonna click done on this. So personally branded, you wanna do a social one? I think it's on, it, it's on the designs for print. For print? Is, somebody told me on, on um, it's like a command Facebook page. It's, it's like a new magazine or something. Under? Under lead generation. Oh, there it is. Branded. Have you seen this? That is brand new. Yeah, so I want to. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I wanted to know if you if you've used it yet. I have not used it yet, but let's take a look and see what it looks like. So it looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. This is going to take a lot of work. I wonder what this is like. How do they, how do they expect us to? Uh, like... Okay, so you don't have to choose all of these. Right. You can choose whatever pages you want, right? Yes. So you're going to choose your pretty much the magazine that you want to build and go from there. So this, yeah, this, this could take a little bit of time for you to, to get done. But if you wanna take the time to do it, I'm sure 
it would be worthwhile for most of you guys. I wonder though, like how would how would you be how would you print this out and make it into something? You know, like personally, what I would do is if I were to let's say choose ten of these pages, yeah, and build them out. Then I would download all the pages to my computer. I would put them on a thumb drive and I would most likely take it to Staples and get like a bound book made up. Oh, okay. Or, or you could do it on probably online on Staples. Cause I, sure. I, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't see options for like bound things on Staples, but I guess they have them, right? Yeah. They, they just make this like a, in an e format to send to people. Oh, totally. That's what you I could, do. Yeah, definitely. Even so, though it says print, even though it's a print. Um, it'll, it'll still, it'll still come out as a PDF. So if you send it in an email as a PDF, it's, it's in e-format. So we'll be able to yeah, see what that, you're looking yeah, at. That, I think that could be useful in an e-format. I don't know so much in a print format though. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're going out door knocking and you just want to let your um farm know all about what you've been doing over the past year or two then if you choose 10 of these pages and get it bound at a at a copy shop then you're gonna walk the neighborhood and hand them out so yeah because i was just talking to somebody he was like oh well yeah send me some of your information and i'm thinking like, like what i don't have <laughs> anything like other than business cards like i don't have like anything to send <laughs> yeah i mean send them a, i what do we have here? Like your year in review, you can set that up. Yeah. You've done some good stuff over the past, what, six mm -hmm. months? You're pretty busy yeah. there for a while, right? Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say, Holly. Just, you know, you can give them your stats. You can do the neighborhood stats. There's there's a lot of information you can throw. I, don't, I haven't gone through this either, obviously, but if there's information about just KW as an amazing tech company, there's a yeah. lot that you can offer. Where, where can we get our um, market center stats? You can reach out to Laura for that. She has all that. She can send that over to you. Okay, thanks. Like the like a month in review, like the language of real estate stuff. Yeah, she has those. Okay, thanks. All right, any other questions on this? This is, like I said, Holly brought this up. This is brand new. So I'll have to go take a look through all this stuff and see what would be most beneficial for newer agents. Um, but like I said, this will take a little bit of your time to build. Um, so I would, I would suggest practicing with regular designs first and get a couple regular designs out there. So you get that out of the way. So you're not pulling your hair out when you're going through all these 30 pages and choosing what you want. Cause this could be, this could be a full day of work if you really want to build something. Matt, right. That looks like more than one full day to me. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll take a little bit of work. One page looks like one full day. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Any other questions on this? Yeah, Matt, I was thinking like uh, if let's say you want to import, you want to do this, um, I think you can add your listing, one of your listings, for example, because I see the gray plus, the plus um, square uh, on, the, on the right, in the middle of the white page. Yes. Yeah, so maybe we can add a page of your of our listing uh, or anything else to be put in there. So this is pretty much, I just added a blank template, so I get to choose. So over here, what I would do is, since it's blank over here, I'm going to choose this one, and that'll be my, that should be my, now it's my third page because I have two blanks at the beginning. So if I want that to be page one, I'll just come here and I'll trash this one and trash the second blank one. Now this becomes my first page. And then if I want to add more pages, I'll just come over to whatever page I want to add. Um, so if I have like a featured listing, I can add a new page that way. And now I'll have two in the set. So you're pretty much adding templates from over on the left to um, the template you want to use on the right. Okay. And then I can toggle back and forth between all my different pages and build them out. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, any other questions on this? All right, I'm gonna go back. And like I said at the beginning of the class, I'm just gonna to touch on what email um, templates look like. We will have a class coming up on smart plans. And that's where you're gonna use your email templates. So I'm gonna click on the plus symbol, go to email, click next. And you'll see here's all the different templates that we have. So coming up is, there's 56 of them. So if I load more, I think I saw one this morning for Valentine's Day. So if I choose a Valentine's Day one, highlight that, click next. And here's what this looks like. So you'll see all of these words with asterisks at the beginning and the end. That means it's a formula to put in the information from your marketing profile in that spot. So because you're seeing asterisks, market center name asterisks, it's gonna put the image that you have uploaded in your marketing profile. That's why the marketing profile is very important to start with when you're a new agent. And then as I scroll down, you're gonna see the picture. It's gonna say, dear contact first name. So this comes from your contact database. So when you put somebody on a smart plan, and let's say I put um, Barb Newman on a smart plan. This is gonna say, when it gets sent out via email from the smart plan, it's gonna say, dear Barb. And then all this wording is gonna be here. And then you can download my app here and the link for your app is gonna be right there. So this all pulls from the system. The system is telling um, this formula to input what you have there. So you don't have to do anything there. And then it'll say, happy Valentine's Day, Barb. And then all of this gets pulled from the system. You don't have to do anything here. Same down here. Anytime you see an asterisk with words and then ending, ending in an asterisk, it's a formula telling the system to put information there for you. Okay. I don't want to dive too deep into this, like I said, because we could be here for hours. All right. So that's what an email one looks like. Like I said, when we, when we do a smart plans class, I'll go, uh, I'll go more into this. All right. I'm going to stop sharing so I can see everyone. Any questions on anything that we just went over? You haven't lost your touch, Matt. You're so good. Nobody has any questions. Thanks. Morgan, were you able to get your uh, app downloaded? I was, yes. I And I even was able to like change the URL too. I posted last night on Facebook actually. So that worked well. Good. Um, I, I guess I don't need to know it right now, but when I just went into email, I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's so slow. Um, are you able to just show how you found that Valentine's template one more time? You sure. don't, if people have other questions, they can ask too. Nobody spoke up. So we'll do what you want. I hit um, email and then. Are you using Google Chrome? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so if I share my screen again. All right, so I'm in my templates. So I'll start from home page again. So if I go into designs, yep. click on the paintbrush. Plus symbol, bottom right. Email. Next. And here's the templates that show up. So I scrolled all the way down to the bottom. It's only showing 16 of them. So I'm gonna click on load more, scroll down a little bit more and the classic happy Valentine's day is right here. So I select it and hit next. And there it is there. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome.
All right, any, any else, anybody else have questions? Doesn't necessarily have to be about designs. Uh, just me, when I first joined in August, I had my laptop program with Repert so that I could print in the office. And now I have a new laptop just for my, you know, so for my new Keller Williams stuff. So I have to make another appointment for that now, right, Matt? Yes. Okay, easy enough to do, I'm sure, right? Yeah, the, you'll just, okay. uh, you can do it online or you can give them a call and they'll uh, they'll put you in a yeah. window for half hour. They were very easy to work, you know, when I went in and did it. So I just have to do that again. Okay, yeah. cool. Matt, I have a question about referrals. Okay. It's, it seems like the, when you try to do those migration patterns, it's not working and it hasn't been for a while. Do you know when they're going to fix that? Let me take a look. Yeah, it's been saying that for weeks. All right, I'll have to look into that. Have you looked, uh, is anybody talking about it in the Facebook groups? I, uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I didn't look for that in the Facebook groups, but um, I did um, submit like a inquiry and oh. nobody ever got back to me, but. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at that and I'll get back to you on it. Okay, thanks. I can go into, um, I have a, a Slack group with the, the region, so I can ask that question in there to see if anybody else is a... Uh... Yeah, I was thinking maybe I was doing something wrong, but no. I don't think, that, yeah. No, nah, it looks like it's, yeah, it's been down for a little bit. So I'll take a look at that and I'll get back to you. I'll take a look at that. Thanks. Anyone else? Hey, Matt. Hi, it's Bill Milano. Hey, I, Bill. I got a question for you. How are you? Hello, everyone. Okay. Um, it's it's a simple question. A couple of weeks ago, my daughter, Kelly, who has actually been doing a lot of our admin stuff for me and Carl, um, we went into KWLS to basically like neighborhood and, and to find out what, you know, the houses had sold for, how long on the market. And I'll give you an example. Ridley Park came up and it was almost close to six months. And the price was almost, oh, I think it was like five, six hundred thousand uh, dollars. Were there any issues with that? I mean, we even went into, say, um, Broomall, and the same thing happened where in this market, there is no way that houses the average length of time on the market was six months. Are so, you know, are, so are you talking about the stats that come up from the KWLS? Yeah, they are matching up with your stats. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we, we've been dealing with that for, since we brought out the system. So the stats that you see within the command system are pulled from so many different sources that they might not look like your research that you get from our MLS. Mm -hmm. So if you're building some sort of neighborhood snapshot that you want to send out, I would go into Bright and do your research and get the from stats the way, from there and change them in your design that you want to send out to people. Yeah, I went in and looked at Ridley Park, Matt, not to interrupt you, and it was like, I think it was like 32 days and the prices were much more normal. And, you know, I know there's some very expensive houses in Ridley Park because I lived in Ridley Park, but not that much. Yeah, so um, I would say the middle, uh, beginning to middle of uh, 2020, there was a lot of like top, trainers that were doing putting out videos that were saying okay we're going to compare compare the stats in zillow realtor.com our bright mls the kwls and see if they all look the same every different platform had different stats for the same neighborhood so the be, because the way each system gets updated on a daily basis they're always going to look different so yeah, uh, the best answer I could give you is go into our MLS, get your stats from there. And then when you're creating the neighborhood snapshot in the system, just, just change them to what you think they should be. Okay, the problem is I've been on the commercial side too long. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. And but I don't mean to interrupt again. Hello, Dahl, how are you? 
I'm talking to Barb Newman. I knew as soon as you said doll, I knew it was me. Yes, yes. No <laughs> offense, ladies. Barb and I <laughs> Good to see you, Bill. <laughs> you too. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Any other questions? Comments? Concerns? Now I'm going to stop. Family reunion is next week, so we should see some updates to 